So if I inspect here, it really has a hard time understanding the content. It uses different ways of rendering. We have a canvas container and here at the end we uh, have our canvas in which is drawn everything. This is a practical example on how I do to solve the Flutter CEO issue. It is a workaround, yes, because Flutter it is non, not meant for CEO and web in this way, but you can do a workaround to make it work. So basically you have a server and obviously uh, in all my projects I usually have a server and it can be Firebase or anything that you want it to be. And what we want to achieve is that we want to be able to uh, serve the same data from the server to the client that it is the Flutter application and to the client that it is front end for our website. Yes, we are going to use two different technologies, but don't worry, it is not so hard as you may think. We are going to use JavaScript, TypeScript, and I'm going to show you that it is really, really simple and super easy. Also to set up, it is super simple. So here, for example, I have a mock server. It is an endpoint that returns uh, a bunch of articles. Here I have only one article and it is okay because it is just an example. And this endpoint, obviously, it's, it is an example. If I had a server, it is going to, to when I call this endpoint, it, it, it is going to give me this data. This is the JSON and the things that it returns. It returns a simple uh, article with the, a title and a content that contains, for example, a heaving and two paragraphs. Now I have implemented the part with Flutter. This is the title of the article and this is the first heading and these two are the two paragraphs, as you can see here. So the Flutter part, it is not really uh, so important, so I'm going to jump it, but uh, I would have something like this in Flutter and I don't know, for example, I have if I have a website that has a bunch of articles and I want to show this article website on, on a Flutter application and I want also to serve it on my website so it is optimized for Google and people can find it on, on Google when they're searching or any other search engine. Obviously with Flutter, you cannot do that because it is not so friendly. And later in trial, I'm going to show you also why it is not so friendly. And if we inspect the code, what we see. So now uh, what we want to do is we should be able to have a uh, um, node installed. So uh, if you jump into node right here, you can install node. I suggest you to install the LTS version. Obviously, I'm not going to install node and this thing because uh, this is not the object of this tutorial. And we, after that, we want to head into Astro.js. I'm going to use Astro, but obviously you can use any other technology. You can use Svelte or Vue or React or any front-end client technology. I'm going to use Astro and it is really super simple and super easy. As you can see, you can get started by also by copying the code from here. And yes, it is super simple. So here I have an empty project. I'm going to open the command line and here let me make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. I'm going to past my code yes so now it is going to uh, do uh, ask me a few questions on how I want this project for example uh, where you uh, you should where should we create your project I'm going to uh, put a dot, meaning that I want to create it in this, um, in the root of this folder that is called Astro Sample. 
and here I want it to be empty. So I'm going to use TypeScript and install the dependencies. Yes, git, uh, no, because it is a sample project. We are not interested right now. Okay, nice. Now we have installed uh, Astro. And if you have never worked with Node, uh, this is, these are uh, the files of our installed package. Public are the files that are public on the internet because all this code is source code, except the public. And here we have our code. If we head here into the package.json, we have all the configuration files and it is like the babspec.yaml that we have on Flutter. So here we have a few commands that we can run and we can use npm run dev to run the dev server. This is going to run the development server uh, for our Astro project. We can copy this code and we can duplicate this one. It's fine. Do something like this. Okay, and here we see this thing here, Astro. And we head into this file index.astro and here it is where it recites our code. What we basically uh, want to do is want to make an HTTP call to this endpoint and get our data. So let's do it. So we type await and we console log our. So here we await for the data. Obviously you should see if it is, uh, the response is okay or it is error, an error back. But here we are going, we want only to, to see our data. We are not interested on all that other stuff. So here we log our data to see if we have anything. We go into terminal and as you can see here, we have our object. So what we can do is uh, get our data right here. And uh, what we want to do is we want to go through this data. Um, we want to access content because here we had um, we had this, ah, okay, I have to access the zero one and we have content that it is an object that contains other data. So here I should do something like this. And here I'm going to get my item. Okay, uh, here, as you can see, what we have done is obviously here you should assign a type. We should give it a type, but uh, because we are using TypeScript, but it is uh, in this case, it's not really important. Uh, now I have typed uh, the type, but just to show you, but here I can type the content. Because if you remember here, we had a type that it shows uh, the type of the element because here it is the content, meaning that it is the content of the article and maybe it has a heading or paragraph, etc. So we are able to uh, know the type of the content and to render it in the correct way. Uh, as you can see here, the type is heading and the other parts is content. So the structure, it is this one. So, and here we have uh, few different types but what we want to do is for example if item that type is equal heading yes in JavaScript TypeScript you uh, use three equals to be sure that the uh, content and the type is correct so what we want to do is to do something like this so we are able to 
we are able to return a heading when we have uh, uh, when the type is h we want to return this type of content uh, a h1 a tag h1 if not a p tag so now let's do a really nice thing and let's compare this one with this one and as you can see it is super simple super easy and it is not so complex obviously when you are developing really in development production and all this stuff uh, it is a little bit more complex uh, but obviously it is not so complex uh, so complex as you may think now here if we do inspect and if we do inspect right here as you can see right here if we let me zoom a little bit so if i inspect here it really has a hard time understanding the content it uses different ways of rendering for example it uses canvases and things like that and in the other hand because obviously it is something that it is drawn as you can see here we have a canvas container and here at the end we uh, have our canvas in which is drawn everything canvas is a, an html element in which you are able to draw things inside for example uh, if you want to create paint obviously you are going to use a canvas and also if i remember well there is a canvas also on flutter it is exactly the same concept bar but for the web here on the other hand if i inspect i'm able to correctly inspect any element and as you can see uh, here for example i have an h1 and it says that that this is a test and here for example i have a paragraph and also here i have a paragraph uh, and why this is important this is absolutely important because uh, search engines uh, are able to uh, understand your code because they read your code they read uh, the heading the paragraphs etc this is why for example on google you are able uh, to to see the content for example let me show you as you can see for example right here uh, it extracts the content from the website when you are using something like Flutter, it is not able to because it is a drawing. Maybe in the future, uh, we don't know, Google maybe can use AI to understand the, the text, we don't know. But right now it uses, it, it reads the data, so it is able to understand the content inside and matches it with your search. And this is the way uh, we're able to, to achieve the goal. For the web, you can use this way of developing. So meaning that you can create a, an Astro project that is it is used only for the web and for all the other platforms, you can use Flutter. This is what I do personally. And it is still super useful because for example, I can develop my application for Android, for iOS, for uh, desktop and also i don't know for tv ipad i mean uh, you can develop it for multiple multiple applications at the same time the only downside is that you don't have this part and as i said multiple times obviously if you are if you don't need the seo part it will be it may be fine using only flutter but in the other cases i uh, I think that you can also use this approach. It is really variable and depends on the thing that you want to create. Because obviously here you are maintaining another project that you have man to maintain. But in the other side, you have solved the issue of creating multiple projects uh, for multiple platforms. And the only downside is you you'd have to maintain another uh, different project and yeah that's it i hope that um, it is really a lot more clearer and 
if you go into the, their website, they are not trying to solve this issue. So if you are still believing that they are going to solve this issue, uh, no, they are not going to. They said it. If you go into their website, they said that uh, Flutter it is not meant, and obviously because Flutter it is used to build uh, web apps, not websites. And there is a difference between a website and a web app. And that's it. I hope that you like this content. If you did, you know what to do.